Team South Africa is definitely on the ground here at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. With me now is Nonkululeko Nyembizi, who is the chairman of the Standard Bank Group. Nonkululeko, thank you very much for your time. The key focus areas for you? Well, Africa, we know we are, Africa is our home. We drive hair growth and we're pretty serious about that. And so the issues that... Um, I'm really, really pertinent for Africa is growth at the moment. It is climate change. We're involved in all of those discussions. It is the Africa Free Trade Continental Agreement. We want to get involved in all of those discussions. So Davos is really an opportunity to put it all together and not just go for a single issue, but see a multiplicity of stakeholders and interested parties in order to start to build um, the kind of, I guess, wave towards where one wants to go. So that's quite a key thing for us is the Africa play. People keep saying it's the century for Africa. I really believe the 21st century has got to be that century. And if we don't make it happen, I don't think it ever will happen. So we want to quarrel the support to focus on the African continent. And it's very many avenues for investment. Are people open to the opportunities in South Africa despite the challenges, the well-published challenges we are going through as a country at the moment? Well, time will tell because we've been absent from the forum for a while as a big team. Uh, there was Davos last year, but the business community is here to say, look, although there's a lot of challenges and constraints because of the power shortages, year in, year out, South African private business reports good results and we are able to navigate and get the better of that. So the fact that there's no power doesn't mean that one can't do business. It so happens that Europe itself is also having its own power outages and power issues and so it doesn't land quite as negatively as it might have landed uh, at any other time. But of course time will tell. Uh, we continue to drive this uh, drum bit of FDI. You never stop just because you're experiencing a downturn. It is true that it would be better not to have had these constraints, but we can discuss with our counterparts what we do as South African business to contend with the situation. Both you and I have been attending the World Economic Forum for some time. You obviously find that there's enormous benefit in terms of collaboration, public, private sector and civil society globally. Is that the, the key emphasis? That's only one half for me. The other half is if you have an interest in a subject, at Davos you will meet the absolute world experts talking about that subject. And so you learn in three days what would have taken you, I don't know how long, if ever, to put together that quickly because you would not have access to all of these people. You get to have Q&As with top, top minds in the world. Now, I think that is actually very, very valuable. Secondly, you get to have the most interesting conversations with people you just bump into in corridors. And so that whole just lowering of the barrier between in, in interactions between people is something that Davos gives and no other platform does it. I mean, there's just Ursula van der Leyen, just walk past and you can just go and talk to her and understand a bit better what is it that Europe is talking about in this global, I don't know, 300 billion euro that they put on the table as a global gateway. So, so there's a, rich, a richness in the conversation conversation one can have, but also a richness in the intellectual input that you are exposed to. And then the cherry on top is, of course, the collaboration piece. That was Nonkululeko Nyembizi, the chairman of the Standard Bank Group here on the ground, Davos 2023.